Hello everyone, I'm Jonas and today I'll be doing another Kismet video. The inspiration for this one is the whale oil tanks in Dissard. Uh, so what I'll be doing is I'll be creating barrels. If you press a button on the left here, as you can see I've already added the trigger. So if you press the trigger on the left, it will spawn a barrel that rolls down these stairs. And then you will also be able to pick up barrels and put them in the machine over here. And the the light here is supposed to turn on. Um, I'll be doing some other stuff with this as well, but as you can see I've already added a dynamic uh, prop here. It's just an interp actor with the barrel. Um, I'll be using this just to make sure that it stays in the right place. So when you plug um, the barrel here into the machine it will just destroy the barrel you're carrying around. It will uh, unhide the one already in the machine um, just to make sure that it's in the perfect position and stuff like that. So first things first I have done uh, some things with the world properties for instance. Um, I have changed it to UT game instead of UT deathmatch or default and I have also done uh, a console command. So when the level is loaded um, I do the console command physics gun as you can see here. Uh, what this does is allow you to pick things up as well as push them around uh, on the player. Then I just hide the HUD and then here is where I hide the the barrel in the machine over there. So if I jump into the header here, as you can see you start with the sort of plasma gun or link gun and then you can switch to the uh, the physics gun which is not visible. Uh, what this does is if you hold down the right mouse button you're able to move things around and if you press the left mouse button you sort of push them away. Um, and you're supposed to sort of yeah put it in the machine there. It Apparently it got stuck but whatever. So if you press the button here nothing happens. And that's what we'll start with. So if I open up Kismet here I've already added the trigger here. Um, what you want is aim to interact. Basically what this means is that you want the player to look at the trigger to use it. And then you have distance which you can set to whatever, 256. It's just unreal units. Um, so interact text is, uh, this shows up on the HUD but ob obviously hidden the HUD already so um, we want to set the max trigger count to zero but we also want the trigger delay to be something like 2 uh, because I want to be able to spawn multiple barrels but not too many. Um, so 2 is probably decent enough. Um, so once you use the trigger here what I want is new action, actor and actor factory. This is um, what basically spawns everything that's not in the game already. Uh, so what you want to do is when you use it you want to spawn an actor. Um, you also want a place to uh, spawn it. So basically what I'll add is you go to actor classes and categorized there is a note uh, which basically does nothing. Um, it's just an object in the game world. So I'll position this uh, on top of the stairs here uh, somewhere here baby. Uh, you want to leave enough space for the barrel to spawn without getting stuck in walls or anything like that and just put it up a bit. Um, so what this does is, is allow it allows us to get the position. Um, so if you create a new object variable uh, whoops, what you want is action actor get uh, get location. Uh, so you want to get the location of the of the note, and then you want to create a new variable. Uh, where is it? A vector. So you want to get the location of the note, plug it into a vector, and then plug the vector into the spawn location over here. Uh, you don't have to plug things into all of these um, spawn count. Uh, you can see if I look in here, spawn count the default is 1 and we obviously only want to spawn one barrel per uh, per use of the trigger. 
so you don't have to plug in a new variable with just one. Spawn direction doesn't really matter uh, because it will be affected by gravity, so it will only fall down. Um, spawn point, this is only for bots and stuff, so they can navigate. And if you're going to use the spawned item for something, you obviously plug in an object variable here. But we're not going to do that today. Um, so if I go into the options here, this is where it will be uh, some important stuff. Uh, first things first, what you want the factory to be. You can't see it, uh, but I want it to be an actor factory uh, rigid body. Um, it's all the way to the right there. You can see if I can show you. Yeah, there it is. Actor factory, rigid body. Uh, rigid body is basically Unreal's name for physics assets, I think. I'm not really sure about the uh, the define or the definitions of objects, but if you go into Content Browser and select whatever you have, and then right click, you can see at the bottom here, add rigid body. So that's what we'll be using for all of these. Uh, back into Kismet. Um, start awake, it basically means that it will be um, active once it spawns, so it will be affected by gravity without you having to push it or shoot it or anything like that. And damage applies impulse, um, it just means that if you do damage to it, it will react with physics. Um, we don't want any velocity. Um, let's see here, static mesh. This is the one we want. I've obviously selected the barrel already. Um, so you can see there, the remade fist barrel. And what you also want to uncheck is the encroachment here. Uh, it's sort of a double negative. Um, because once you uncheck it, you want the encroach check. What this means basically is that you want to see if it's inside of stuff because otherwise it's not going to react with the trigger I'll be using for the machine later. Um, so just uncheck that. Um, collision type, I think it'll work like it is. Uh, yeah, something like that. This should pretty much work, so let's jump into the game and test it. I Boom! And there you have it. And as you can see, I can lift this around as well. I can push it. I can spawn another one. And they they spawn basically upright. And then they fall down. And there you have it. And they all stay around as well. So the spawning thing seems to be working. So the next step is to create um, a trigger which will react to the barrel so what we'll be doing is we activate the Builder Brush, wherever that is. Oh, okay, it's the size of the room, that's why I can see it. So we do 256, we right click on the volumes and then you press uh, Trigger Volume. Then we can hide the Builder Brush and as you can see the Trigger Volume is green. So we sort of put this trigger inside of the machine thingy here and then we move it down um, I'll be going into Kismet and then adding a trigger here new event touch we will have to change a bunch of different things here um, because the trigger is mostly meant to react to the player um, so we have to change things to make sure that it touches the barrels as well. So what do we want? We want um, collide. We can do custom default and then um, process all actors wherever that is. Du -du 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 -du. 
there it is process all actors so not the player only but um, process everything so that means that it will notice that the barrel touches the trigger and then when we go into kismet we have to change um, the pawn here actually works but we can't change it to uh, K actor instead um, because everything is a pawn the player the movable objects and stuff like that and then we uncheck the player only at the bottom here it should obviously be enabled uh, max trigger count is zero ah. we're only going to plug one barrel in so one is enough for the trigger here then what you can do to test that it works is you can do um, yeah I can probably not show this yeah at the bottom here announcement you can do play announcement and then you can uh, write something in here triggered for instance and then we just plug it in like that so now that we oh shit I have to rebuild um, it's probably this is the trigger volume or something like that I thought it would just work but whatever it should be pretty fast I'm hoping there we go now we try it again we play from here we switch to the physics gun and we plug it in alright I hit the hub so I can't I don't get the message uh, it's kinda sad but what can you do try again without hiding the HUD switching boom hmm nothing happens anyway oh well let's try and troubleshoot trigger volume what happens if we just leave it at pawn at the bottom here um, let's just try it I should be getting an announcement but I don't as usual I tend to run into problems as soon as I make the video but you know how it is I'll just go into this here it should be on K actor I don't know why it doesn't work K actor oh right I don't think I changed the encroachment on this one that should probably be it yeah there it is if you uncheck that um, I'm just gonna show you that's the reason why it didn't work but if I use one of these as you saw before I changed the encroachment on the actor factory so if I use one of these barrels yeah there we go triggered so that one works and this one doesn't there you go so go back into this and uncheck the encroachment check on that one the one I spawned or the one that's just standing around so that's the reason it didn't work so now we know that the trigger is set as it should be um, what we'll be doing is destroying the the barrel you're carrying around so actor destroy and then for the variable we do an object and then we take the instigator what the instigator is is basically the thing that triggers the trigger so if it's a player trigger the instigator is the player and if it's a damage trigger the instigator is the projectile of the weapon you use to uh, to trigger it but in this case it will be the barrel so we want to destroy that we want to toggle the um, toggle hidden the barrel that's already in the machine so it's just a basic interp actor uh, so it obviously doesn't react to physics and stuff like that you can't unhook it from the machine uh, once it's in there so we toggle hidden we are not going to hide we're going to unhide the barrel um, and I'll just show you that this should be working as well Whoops. and boom so there we go you can plug it into the machine the barrel you're carrying is destroyed but the barrel inside is unhidden and it should be working with the other ones as well because I've obviously done the encroachment stuff with this one boom there you have it 
Um, the size of the trigger might be a tad too much because they obviously disappear from several feet away, but the principle is the same regardless. Um, so, once we've done that, we want to toggle the light over here. It's a dynamic light or point light toggleable. Um, so we use that. We take the other toggle over here and then we turn on the light. Something like this. Um, so what uh, if you've played Dishonored, um, there is a machine that basically drains the whale oil tank. Um, so to do that, um, what you want to do is basically actor set material uh, because uh, yeah, I obviously don't have access to the uh, to the materials from Dishonored. This is just a representation of what it would look like. Um, basically, what you do is you basically I use basically a lot apparently. Um, so you basically just take uh, a couple of different materials. Um, I don't want the default ones. Let's go with some sort of metal. Um, so we plug in one metal texture, then you plug in the stone texture onto the next one. And then what you can do is also, instead of adding um, delay nodes, you can just set activate delay by right clicking on the uh, on the output of all sort of kismet nodes. And then you right click again, activate delay, one. So what will happen here is once you turn on the light, the um, the prop will change to another material. You'd obviously want to have a material that that looks like the the first one you plug in, but uh, drained. Like instead of having the blue line at the top, you want it at the middle and then at the bottom for the last one. And then what we want to do is we want to eject the the barrel when the machine is done and the barrel is empty. So what we want to do here is again, um, yeah. So we destroy, but instead of destroying the the barrel you're carrying, we will we'll destroy the barrel that's in the machine. We could obviously just hide it as well. It doesn't really matter. But I'll be doing destroy for this one. Now wait, we should get the position of this one first. So get the location. And we unhook this. So we get the position of the barrel that's in the machine. The interp actor zero. And we get two, uh, two new vectors. One for location and one for rotation. And then we destroy the barrel and then we spawn a new one with the actor factory we've already set up here. So you can hook the location into spawn location and spawn direction into rotation vector. And then the spawn point doesn't matter, uh, spawn count is one. So you just spawn an actor here, but we'll want to change one thing on this one. Uh, the initial velocity uh, because we want it to sort of fly out of the machine. And as you can see in the bottom here, you can see the axis. And as you can see, the x axis is going to the left here. So what we want to do is we want to set the value to a negative x value. And I've already tested this one. Uh, 300 is a decent number. So what's happening here is we turn on the light, we change the material, and then we spawn a new physics barrel um, that flies out of the machine. It will obviously not have the uh, the material that we changed here, it will have the default material. If you want it to spawn with the material you've changed it to here, you will just have to uh, remake a new prop in the content browser with the new material. Um, so when we play from here, whoops, not that one, we want to play it. We want to play it in the viewport. There we go. So we take the barrel, we hook it into machine, the light goes on, it changes the material, and then 
it's ejected. I will do that again. I'll just change the the delay to uh, yeah to two, just to make it a bit more obvious because I talked a bit too much. Excuse me. So we hook it in. Light turns on. It changes material. It changes material, and then it flies out. Uh, we should probably have another delay on the on the last one here, just so you can see the see the last material as well. So we hook it in, and boom, and another one, and then it flies out. Boink. So you can pick it this up again. You can throw it away and the light is still on. So that's basically the entire demo for today. Uh, we've been talking a bit about instigators, uh, the K actors and the encroachment checks and triggers that don't react to players. So I hope you liked it. If you have any sort of suggestions I will gladly accept them. Uh, but this is over and out for today. Thanks for watching.